I remember Mr. Lee Kuan Yew as a great communicator. As a teenager, when I read the copies of the Straits Times uh, about what he had spoken at different uh, events, uh, he struck a chord. Uh, I, for example, I remember he said, no one owes us a living. So there was an uh, encouragement to Singaporeans, we have got to work hard with uh, only ourselves to depend upon. Uh, he also said uh, we have to build a rugged society. So these were early messages as a teenager of uh, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. Uh, later on when I uh, entered politics, I remember him as a very good rally speaker. And the conventional uh, rally uh, in the general elections at uh, Fullerton Square uh, was always packed. And my first uh, rally, the one I first attended, uh, Mr. Likoni was speaking and he held the crowd even though it was drizzling. And Mr. Lee went forth, held forth uh, without any shelter. Uh, raindrops uh, over his head and uh, dripping down his uh, cheeks but he, he spoke spoke with uh, conviction and of course subsequently uh, attending the National Day rally speeches uh, he came across uh, as one who could talk with people and people understood what he was saying and it was uh, something that uh, many people look forward to every year and in Parliament when he spoke Everybody wanted to listen to him. And I think that uh, he was able to hold uh, his audiences because underlying whatever he does, he did it for Singapore and for Singaporeans. So that uh, was his uh, life's uh, passion uh, and, and that was what uh, drive him. So it's quite clearly that uh, if uh, he is passionate about uh, doing things uh, for people, then uh, it will come across well to people, because people was his focus. So he was a great uh, communicator. And I think it would be hard put for Singapore to find a similar communicator uh, in the future.